Vikramaditya from JetSoft Tech. Uh, welcome to uh, the session on SAP S for HANA EWM. So EWM, as we all know, stands for Extended Warehouse Management. And in this, we are going to discuss a few important uh, updates in the recent times and also a basic overview for every one of us. Uh, so it's it's a very high uh, on-demand uh, you know job uh, concept that we have in EWM. So let's start with uh, the basics. Now, to so start off with the Beidou's history, uh, we have got something in 1991. We had R3. Uh, in, in 1990s, uh, real-time three-tier architecture uh, software, SAP ER3 software was very popular. And in that, the ERP evaluation, in, in the ERP evaluation, we had the warehouse management, which is a part of R3 system release. And we had production warehouses, functionality, scalable solutions. Now, in mass adoption happened in 1998 in LEWM, where we have the logistics execution platform, mass adoption of work, uh, warehouse management, decentralized de deployment uh, uh, available and native uh, RF functionality was available. In 2005, SAP introduced something called supply chain EWM, extended warehouse management, which has got the service parts, uh, warehousing, and distribution centers, warehouse uh, automations. Then in 2014, uh, EWM leadership was started, best in class, uh, enter leader quadrant of uh, Gartner Magic Quadrant, and industry solution expansions was brought into the and brought into uh, availability. In 2019, S4 HANA EWM, this is something which, uh, you know, changed the entire game, wherein we have started a, a WM, EWM, significantly a different, uh, you know, tool, solution for uh, managing the warehouse management. It has got simplification, user experience, warehouse automation, reasonable deployment options, reduced data redundancy, and in-memory database, and also we had the enhanced usability. So now extended warehouse management is used efficiently to manage inventory in the warehouse and for supporting the processing of uh, good movement. It allows the company to control its warehouse uh, inbound and outbound processes and movement of goods in the warehouse. So the main process in a warehouse is uh, incoming and outgoing materials, goods received, and goods issued. So, whatever we store, the materials uh, is uh, all, uh, all comes under the warehouse. Now, fulfill customer orders and dis distribution of goods. When a company doesn't store any goods, then there is no need for warehouse management at uh, at the man uh, at to manage the goods. So, with the help of SAP EWM Extended Warehouse Management. All the good movements are controlled by a warehouse management system and provides you to tools to monitor warehouse activities. So you can also manage additional functions in the warehouse management like creating a serial number, batch number, vendor management inventory, resource, resource optimization and value added services. So SAP EWM allows you to not only monitor the quantity of quantity of goods in warehouse but but to manage other critical functions and deliver uh, delivery of goods efficiently. So it comes to the extended warehouse management. We've got the S4 HANA digital core in the next generation of SAP ERP uh, to modernize the you know digital business. So here we are we are we are discussing about the flexibility, best in class, and connected in, connected and integration. So the extended warehouse management in SAP takes care of the flexible modeling of warehouse process and it has got SAP AWM has got built-in optimization and high performance execution, best-in-class holistic uh, virtualized uh, data uh, and information and warehouse um, and world-class analytics and real-time operational insights. We've got real-time connected it's connected to connected uh, in the connectivity perspective if you see we have got the real time insight and network communication next generation automation and enhanced device integration integration we have got the standardized pre configured con configured interface with sap business suit and sap s4 hana comprehensive goods, goods received and goods issue integration is all done in the integration perspective so when it comes to this, um, you know, the, the flow of uh, what we have in the SAP EWM, 
we have got a lot of uh, new capabilities which are brought into 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 the existence so if you see uh, if we go back to something like uh, the 2016 um, the end of 2016 the last quarter of 2016 ewm became an embedded application component with s4 hana on premise edition that was 1610 so initially if you understand this this process that we were actually discussing on uh, initially the extended bureaus management was made as a part of the sap sap ecc system the r3 system then it was slowly you know uh, uh, it, uh, it was moved as a different uh, different tool and different uh, um, solution that we had so we have got sap ewm we have got the sap ewm on on supply chain server this is what this was what uh, what is existing then they moved the sap ewm to sap netweaver uh, platform and it was connected to sap erp then we have got in sap s4 hana we have got the s4 hana systems and this ewm can be connected to multiple s4 hana systems and it is based on supply chain management server then we have got the sap s4 hana on ewm uh, netweaver server and we have got the embedded sap ewm this is what we have so basically uh, the ewm became an embedded application component with s4 hana on premise edition in 1610 and it's also known as s4 hana s4 hana and then we have got it combines best in class uh, proven warehouse management capabilities with benefits of s4 hana so technically the simplified integration of the embedded ewm within the on premise edition of s4 hana is reached by the adoption of a unified data model that is new comp, new product code line and the goal is to simplify data model as such as impossible as possible and then we got the the major uh, simplifications are like core interface uh, is not used anymore and for master data including the business partner material master and, and uh, batch then we have got redundant uh, customizing tables we have got the redundant customized tables that we have here and uh, then we have got uh, direct read of uh, actual data into the s4 hana we can directly read the data from the s4 hana that's something which we had in, in which we have in the sap sw ew so then we've got the deployment options we have so there are a lot of ways in which we can deploy the ewm uh, so it's like uh, uh, ewm sap ewm deployment options in, in, in like we have the ew uh, embedded ewm in s4 hana which is similar to ewm on erp so this is the one which we have which i am talking about the deployment option here which is similar to this and then in case of a large rollout plants sap recommends an sap dba dbs uh, service to evaluate the specific requirements and boundary conditions and to create a recommended proposal for ewm uh, de uh, deployment strategy so sap already has experience in such a service including the new options of the embedded ewm in s4 hana so awm and warehouse management the extended warehouse man management and warehouse management can be run in parallel on a single s4 hana client okay this is something which is uh, something which we need to remember the warehouse must be linked to different storage locations it is not possible to run a single warehouse with a, a mixture of warehouse management and awm processes so if you see the inbound processing transportation unit processing goods receipts management and optimization is done in the inbound processing the storage and operations physical inventory slotting replenishment and rearrangement is done kit to stock uh, management and value added services have been introduced here now in the outbound processing we have uh, outbound planning including route wave management goods issue and pallet map planning picking optimization picking staging and load management these are the things that have been introduced here when it comes to the warehouse management portfolio we have got the basic uh, warehouse management and we have got the extended warehouse management so this is a basic warehouse management and we have got the extended warehouse management so now the extended warehouse management referred to the feature uh, scope description of sap s4 hana and it was there in the 1909 edition of sap s4 hana for an overview of the features contained in each version so both versions are available with s4 hana installations so you set up a warehouse management version of the warehouse number level you can change the version used by warehouse at any point in the time 
So basic warehousing functions of embedded EWM are included in the ESCO HANA enterprise uh, management license. Advanced functions will require the classic SAP EWM engine license. So we need to have the EWM licensing separately a company organization has to purchase. The advanced and the basic functions are, are as we see on the screen. So now if you see here, the decentralized uh, EWM always requires the classic SAP EWM engine. Uh, license no matter which advanced or basic feature we are we are into in the SAP S4 HANA. So whether it might be S4 HANA, whether it might be ERP, we need to have the licensing, a separate licensing of SAP EWM engine for sure. Now there are few things that we have in advanced warehouse management. These are the features that we have which I was discussing about and these are the basic warehouse management which we had discussed. Now, if you see the major differences between warehouse management and S4 HANA warehouse management, which is an extremely important concept, which every one of us to understand, because normally everyone has a question in their mind, and even this is very regularly introduced, asked in the interviews as well, and even in the product discussions as well. And clients also sometimes want to know what exactly is the difference between the warehouse management and the extended warehouse management. So when it comes to the functionality, the transactions that we use in uh, where, uh, transactions, we use transactions in the warehouse management. But in SAP S4 HANA EWM, we can probably access the screens through GUI or you can access the screens through SAP Fury app as well. And Vero's number, uh, we've got three characters code. Uh, uh, the Vero's number would be three characters code in the uh, normal WM which we had and uh, embedded into the uh, SAP ECC system or the ERP systems and S4 HANA suit. But now we have got the S4 HANA EWM has four characters code. Storage section will be mandatory. And storage section, storage, storage, uh, storage section is not mandatory in the uh, S4 HANA EWM. Storage type, storage unit or non-storage unit must be defined at the storage type level. And storage unit's concept replaced with handling unit. Now we, we, we call storage unit as handling unit here in the EWM. HUM uh, functionality, activation of storage allocation level. In S4 HANA EWM, activation allowed in same storage types. Storage bin, we've got 10 characters code and in S4 HANA, we have got 18 characters uh, code. Storage bin, unique bin number, not required. Bin number must be unique. Storage bin in the, uh, again about the storage bin, dynamic bins are possible and in S4 HANA EWM, no dynamic bins are possible. Storage bin, once one fixed bin by material and in S4 HANA EWM, we've got the multiple fixed bins by material. Business partner not mandatory in, in WM and in S4 HANA it is mandatory. So it's a party entitlement to the dispose, to dispose. Analytics got not available and S4 HANA, uh, SAP Fiori Analytics and KPI is available. So these are the few things that I wanted to discuss with you about the SAP S4 HANA uh, EWM. But then we have got the futuristic uh, view as well. So SAP EWM future 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 investment so how, what exactly is happening and how is it going is what we need to understand so if we have got the functional we've got the integration and we've got the deployment and automation so it comes to sap strategy is to deliver a common code developing one code line in varos management and delivering this for different deployment options for customer needs for example if you have uh, the logistics execution the varos management remains available until the end of 2025 and this is also applicable to customers who didn't run warehouse management before. However, considering the use right uh, use right and business needs, we, we sincerely suggest like uh, customers evaluate the necessary uh, bef ne necessity before they decide to go into the logistics execution day warehouse management. As extended warehouse management has been the strategic warehouse solution of uh, SAP with all innovations developed along uh, all along. So. What we are going to tell to the client is that Vero's management is will no, no more be functional in the future and everyone has to upgrade for extended Vero's management for sure. So we have got in the functional area of this extended Vero's management, we have got continuous uh, core improvement, new industry capabilities are there. In integration, we have got the enhanced supply chain execution uh, platform in, in, in integration. We've got enhanced integration with SAP business suit solution, enhanced integration with SAP S4 HANA. When it comes to deployment of uh, you know, AWM, we have got the warehouse management in S4 HANA cloud. 
standalone warehouse management in sap s4 hana cloud and extended warehouse management connected to s4 hana cloud so these are all the deployment options that sap is providing for us to uh, work on ew so next generation automation uh, and uh, robotics this has already been uh, is introduced now and it's already been functional for few clients now we've got the we've got this uh, in the logistics execution we've got uh, various options here and uh, ewm has been strategic uh, vero solution for sap with all innovations developed all along so we've got no more usage rights of uh, vero's management after 31st december 2025 This, this is something which I want to highlight this point because after that there will be no support uh, of warehouse management. So everyone has to move to EWM. So it's a, there is a high demand for this because every client which is working on S4 HANA is supposed to move to the EWM by this time. So support decentral uh, logistic execution system till 2025, and continuous investment into EWM is something which is happening right now. and long term support of decentral decentral and embedded warehouse management is something which sap has brought into picture so now this warehouse management will not be existing in the future uh, after 2025 there will be no no support to this and ewm so there will be no roll out of this as well and ewm is something which can be on premise or it can be a decentralized system which can be connected to s4 hana that's that's our choice and this is something which i'm taking an example of on premise and we can also do the similar thing for cloud as well. Now we have got the 2019 uh, planned innovations and 2020 production product direction and 2021 product vision. So we have got this extended warehouse management. We have got this is a summary of uh, what I want to tell. Simplified uh, quality process between extended warehouse management and quality management. We got improved uh, monitoring and tracking with simplified processing in EWM. Reduced total cost of ownership with enhanced integration between extended warehouse management and production process. improve on time delivery performance through next generation automotive enhancements for extended warehouse management we got increased warehouse visibility with embedded analytics for pending warehouse tasks and improve the supply of supply to manufacturing from warehouse processes this is something which was introduced in planned innovations in 2019 2020 sap then went ahead with the product direction where we had the extended warehouse man management had the Uh, you know new additions like improved warehouse insights with enhanced analytical capabilities that has been introduced again uh, re enhanced and improved traceability with enhancement in quality management improved user experience with new and enhanced sap fuel applications improved production supply with kanban um, process improvements improved monitoring and tracking with enhanced integration of sap transportation management improved security and process traceability with attachment services and for ewm project so when you when you are joining the sap ewm course um, course we we are going to discuss all these things very much in detail because this is an overview session i just wanted to wrap it up with uh, some very basic level of understanding of it and uh, this, the contents will also be shared whenever you are interested you can just uh, contact us in the email id mentioned in the description and we can we can send you the updated uh, content to you and uh, going forward that this this course will be a very much high in demand in the coming uh, few years so i i strongly suggest you if you want you are making you want to make a career this is one of the best option that we have is sap ewm and excellent so coming to the 2021 production vision product vision we had we, this is already there in place right now so improved monitoring and tracking with ewm integration to sap transportation management improve on time delivery performance through retail enhancements for ewm these are the things that we have and i'm going to discuss more in detail about sap ewm uh, more in detail about sap ewm in the coming sessions and as well as if you are interested for full time training then you can go ahead and uh, uh, learn it from us you can contact us and you can learn okay thank you have a great day and uh, do like our uh, videos and share it with your friends and also uh, write in comments what do you what do you think about this uh, session okay have a great day and uh, do join our course for uh, a very bright career in sapw